Hello and welcome to tcyonline.com. In this video, we will discuss the vid solutions of Text Completion Sprint 5. Question number 1. Philanthropic organizations operating in the third world when benevolent impulses blank into mere blank. Insipid slogans rear their ugly heads and we become silent spectators of a further deterioration in the very situation such virtuousness had initially sought to blank. Okay, Now we can understand the second part that something is getting deteriorated when originally or initially it was sought to be something positive. Okay, So limit, limit is I can say it's kind of a neutral. Okay, Prevent no, initially sought to prevent, no. Ameliorate. Ameliorate is to improve, okay? Reduce the pain or suffering or improve a situation. So, for the third blank, it's going to be ameliorate, okay? So, now I get the third blank. Now, let's try for the other blanks, okay? Now, philanthropic organizations operating in the third world when benevolent impulses blank into mere. Now, I can see this. Something is transforming into mere, mere sets a negative tone okay so something positive into mere something negative okay so let's look for something uh, benevolent impulses blank into mere so transforming benevolent impulses positive it's transforming into something negative so I'm looking for a word like deteriorate okay now let's see Ah, I have another trigger. See, spectators of a further deterioration. Further deterioration. So, earlier also it got deteriorated. Now, it's further deterioration. So, I'm looking for a word like deterioration. Okay. Devolve. Exactly. Devolve means to deteriorate. Okay. Rally. Rally is f joining together, forming a group. Okay. Coalesce. Bonding. Fluxing. So, rally and coalesce, they both are synonyms. Okay. So, this is an official sentence equivalence pair as well. Remember. Okay. Rally and coalesce. Okay. I'm looking for a word like deterioration. So, for blank one, the obvious answer choice should be devolve. Okay. So, benevolent impulses devolve into mere something. Okay. Negative. See, I have a support. That's comma. Insipid slogans. Okay slogans which do not have that spirit okay so they are just banal or hackneyed just for the sake of saying something okay so let us see it's not fraud it cannot be positive altruism is being selfless so altruism out of quant uh, question so i'm left out with fraud and quixotry okay fraud there's no you know uh trigger which says there's something fraud okay it's just insipid slogans rear their ugly heads and we become silent spectators okay so it cannot be fraud okay so what is left out is quixotry quixotry is just kind of a imaginary situation where we are expecting something nice to happen but it's not happening okay so for the second blank it's quixotry so my answer choices first blank devolve second blank quixotry third blank ameliorate Question number two. To the blank eye, the jungle brush can seem little more than a dense network of bushes and leaves. Okay. So for some kind of an eye, okay, the jungle bush is nothing more than a dense network of bushes and leaves. For the indigenous people of Kerala, even a small area can serve as a veritable blank of pharmaceutical cures. Okay, Now I can see that for the indigenous people, these kind of a jungle brush is, you know, very, very valuable. So, veritable something, very valuable source of pharmaceutical cures. So, for the second blank, I am looking for something of source, okay, cornucopia an unlimited supply okay an unending source so this could be a possible answer for my second blank i'm not looking for a word like invasion there's no negative context like invasion okay so this cannot be dissemination spread no i'm looking for a source kind of a so cornucopia is the possible answer choice for the second blank okay so you see there's a contrast okay so for the indigenous people this is very valuable but for the opposite who are these okay are they veteran? No. Veteran, you know, it could be like very learned or someone who has got a lot of uh, experience. So, for them, it can't be just a jungle 
pushes and leaves okay sophisticated sets of positive tone no for them it cannot be that so untutored untutored is one who doesn't have that kind of a knowledge or training so maybe for the first blank i bet on untutored so to the untutored i okay so for first blank untutored second blank cornucopia okay now let's read further the field of ayurveda which relates to both the natural pharmacy offered up by the jungle and the peoples who serve as a store for of such knowledge has become increasingly popular in the last decades as many anthropologists hoping to take advantage of the vast bounty learn the languages and customs of the natives in order to blank them thousands of years worth of knowledge so blank what they want to absorb right they want to take this knowledge okay that's worth thousands of years old okay so i am looking for a word like in order to absorb assimilate gain okay so let's see glean from okay glean gather could be a lot they are not allotting anything to the natives okay so purge to clear from a blame charge or from a sin not at all so for the third blank answer choice is glean okay so answers untutored cornucopia and glean from Okay, let's move to the next question. Question number three. True to the classically adept, Husna's early compositions can often seem blank. Okay, I don't know for the classically adept, those people who are adept in classical something. Okay, Husna's compositions can often seem blank. I don't know what this could be. Okay, positive or negative, I'm not sure. So, uh, I see this support. Okay, now this support in the form of a comma. Uh, hodgepodge of motifs hodgepodge a clumsy mixture okay so the author has a negative tone now i'm looking for a negative word over here okay so let's see hodgepodge of motifs from which anything fresh has been wrung dry so anything fresh is eliminated so for the classically trained they feel that husna's compositions is devoid of anything fresh okay now let's see I'm looking for a word like devoid of something fresh. It can't be complex. It can't be predictable. What is left out? Hackneyed. Hackneyed is banal, tried. Nothing fresh in that. Okay. So for the first blank, my answer choice would be hackneyed. Okay. So to the ears of Husna's fans, however, so I see a shift. Okay. Those who are classically adept, they felt there's nothing new or fresh in Husna's compositions. However, to Husna's fans, Husna's music was opposite of hackneyed, right? So I'll be looking for a word which is the opposite of hackneyed, that is refreshingly novel. Absolutely, this could be my answer choice. Prematurely antiquated, outdated? No, these people are fans of Husna, okay? So they won't feel this is outdated. Will they feel that it's highly derivative? Means it's copied? No, they feel something opposite of hackneyed. So for the second blank, my answer choice would be refreshingly novel. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Question number four. Okay. Now let's see. Had the IPL chairman any blank that he was being investigated for embezzlement? Okay. So... With this tone, had the IPL chairman any blank that he was being investigated for embezzlement? Embezzlement is a sort of fraud. Okay, so had the IPL chairman any, I'll look for some word like clue, conjecture. Okay, now let's see. Question, had the chairman ha any question? No. Had the IPL chairman any inkling? Yes, inkling could be like suspicion. Okay, so had the IPL chairman any suspicion? Maybe hindsight. Okay, what is hindsight? Okay, hindsight is understanding a series of e uh, events once they have occurred. Okay, so no, I'm not looking for hindsight. What I'm looking for is kind of a suspicion. So I can bet my money on blank uh, inkling for the blank one. So had the chairman any inkling that he was being investigated for fraud or embezzlement, surely he would have been more blank in trying to cloak any venalty. Okay. So he would be more kind of proactive. Okay. So he would be more proactive in trying to cloak or hide his wrongdoings. Okay. So I'm looking for word like proactive okay 
if he had suspicion that he would be investigated for fraud, he would try to hide, okay, he would try to hide his wrongdoings, okay. So, let's see, suspicious, no, hesitant, why would he be hesitant? He would be very, very, you know, proactive in hiding. So, diligent, yes, he would be very diligent to hide his penalty. So, for the second blank, my answer choice would be diligent, okay. Question number five. In pursuit of science-based research, the absence of blank proof by no means suggests a theory lacks validity. Okay, so if I do not have some sort of a proof, it doesn't mean the theory lacks validity. Okay, absence of what kind of a proof? Okay, I'm looking for like sort of a conclusive maybe. Okay, so ineffable ineffable is something that's too sacred to be uttered okay no may not okay absence of sufficient proof could be yes irrefutable proof a proof that cannot be denied okay so for the first blank i think sufficient and irrefutable could be my answer choices ineffable could be eliminated so let's see in pursuit of science based research the absence of blank proof by no means suggests a lack of validity okay in fact no theory is blank and can always be subject to further testing so i see that no theory is blank and can be subject to further testing means no theory is i can say complete okay so it can always be subject to further testing and scrutiny okay i'll be i'll be looking for a word like complete in fact no theory is complete okay cherished no cherished is nothing like close to heart or anything okay porous full of holes okay no unassailable unassailable is something that cannot be attacked okay so yes this could be so in fact no theory is unassailable means there's no such theory which cannot be attacked further that is to say i can test it further and scrutinize it further yes for the second blank it is definitely unassailable and therefore remains by definition blank so the theory remains by definition blank that is equivocal no equivocal can't be like uh, equivocal is something like ambiguous now i'm not looking for something ambiguous so suspect uh, no I won't suspect okay so it's only like the theory is valid until further testing or scrutiny so I'm not suspecting the theory okay provisional yes provisional is something that's tentative okay that is always that's never final it can be tested verified changed okay so the theory or by definition is provisional okay so for the third blank it's provisional now let's see what I can go for the first blank so absence of sufficient proof no it's not sufficient proof irrefutable proof okay because when I say unassailable with the flow it's not sufficient it's irrefutable something that cannot be denied okay so for the first blank it's irrefutable second blank unassailable third blank provisional okay so thank you for watching this video keep visiting tcyonline.com for the best online GRE prep. Thank you.